Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. Today the title on my thumbnail is Investigation Over Year Old Tweet. And this comes from from a tweet I saw um, um, on Elon Musk's, uh, which Elon Musk had written, and it says, this needs to stop. And he's referring to the tweet, Peter Sweden, someone I often look at and follow. And it says, British police have visited and questioned a journalist in her home because someone was offended by a year old post on X. Yes, in Soviet Britain, you get interrogated for posting on social media, which is really hard to believe. Here we have the headline in the Telegraph. Telegraph journalist faces Kafkaesque investigation over alligated hate crime. I think I've had said that word correctly. I, um, I had to look it up to be fair what it means. It means uh, characteristic or reminiscent of oppressive, nightmarish qualities of Franz Kafka's fictional world. So it's quite, quite, a, quite, quite a serious sort of thing. So um, it says Alison Pearson reveals how police officers called her at her home on Rem 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 Remembrance Sunday to tell her of inquiry into year old a social media post. And it reads, uh, Telegraph journalist is facing a, a Kafkaesque investigation for allegedly stirring up racial hatred in a social media post last year. Alison Pearson, an award-winning writer, has described how two police officers called at her home at 9.40 a.m. on Remembrance Sunday to tell her that she was being investigated over the post on X from a year ago. Um, it says in an article for the Telegraph, she said she was told by one officer that I was accused of a non-crime hate incident. It was to do with something I had posted on Twitter a year ago, um, stirring up racial hatred, apparently. And um, it apparently is when the um, October, after the October 7th attacks happened in Israel of last year, and there were lots of um, Palestinian marches and what have you, protests. And uh, that was, um, I'm guessing it was something she wrote a tweet about that. Apparently, uh, the police um, are recording non-crime hate incidents more than ever before. Despite the crackdown, data obtained from 30 of the 43 forces in England and Wales showed that the number increased by 0.4% to 11,642 in the year to June 2023 to 11,690 in the year to 2024. 20, However, Essex Police only solved 14.3% of reported crimes in the years to September 20, 2024, which I thought was quite low. And we can see these figures, I won't run down them all, but violence against a person 12.2%, sexual offences 96 burglary only 6.3%. Vehicle offences 2.5. I mean that is unbelievable. Uh, it really is. They only get 2.5 percent. You think with all the cameras about and what have you, it'd be a lot more than that. And, and so it goes on. And um, interesting enough, down here it says that Elon Musk, the owner of X, has criticised British police forces for launching investigations into users over their post. It really is madness. And I was thinking, you know, what, what, what is a definition of social media? And uh, I use it to communicate. I use it for news like Twitter because it's a, it, um, I, I get a lot more from X or Twitter because it doesn't run with the mainstream news narrative. And when I looked it up, um, what is a simple def definition of social media? And so social media refers to, to the means of interactions among people in which they create, share and exchange information and ideas and virtual communities and networks. And that's what it is. And, uh, you know, I've, we, we, many people, including myself, have friends on social media. So we uh, exchange comments and what have you. And uh, we can get news stories. We can get Christian stories. Wh whatever you, you're interested in is you can get it on social media. And to me, this is like shutting down free speech. So, so I'm pleased that Elon Musk has put this thing, you know, this needs to stop and it does. It's interesting, some of the comments people have put, um, free speech in Europe is under attack by the far left and that, and that is so true. And there's lots of interesting um, uh, comments there on, on that particular tweet, which is interesting. Um, 
many people including myself work alone and um, I've been self-employed for over 40 years and a lot of the time I work on my own so things like social media are great to interact with people and to share views etc but sadly um, it seems to be it seems like it's being stopped and I just thought I'd look at a few scriptures that talk about kind of fr friends and what have you and having good people around you and the first scripture is in 1 Thessalonians 5 11 it says therefore comfort each other edify one another just as you also are doing it's important to uh, that we can communicate with each other and build each other up in, in different circumstances and we can, we can do that on social media of course it's not quite the same as um, face to face intera interaction but it still definitely has its uses and then in 1 Corinthians 15.33 says do not be deceived evil comp company corrupts good habits and uh, it's important to keep the right company and um, some of the some of the things we see on social media aren't good but um, we can choose the people that we interact with and then uh, Colossians 3 13 uh, where are we 13 the bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a complaint against another even as Christ forgave you so you must do it's good you know this lady uh, wrote something in the telegraph maybe it wasn't the best thing to write I don't know what she wrote it doesn't say um, but sometimes it's just good it, you know we can make a big fuss about it like a, a year old tweet or we can choose to forgive and um, I think that's often the best way within in reason um, and then the final scripture Proverbs 17 9 he who covers a transgression seeks love but he who repeats a matter separates friends it's like stirring up things and I actually looked in my uh, study Bible and uh, it said uh, this is a definition of of that verse in Proverbs 79 it says this proverb is saying that we should be willing to disregard the faults of others forgiving faults or covering the offense of other of others is necessary to any relationship it is tempting especially in an argument to bring up all the mistakes the other person has ever made that's so true love however keeps its mouth shut difficult though though that may be try never to bring anything that into an argument that is unrelated to the topic being discussed as we grow to be like Christ we will acquire God's ability to forget the confessed sins of the past and this is what I like about the Bible so, so much it's got so much truth in there that we can learn so, so much from and if we go by biblical principles it makes such a difference and I appreciate we can all get on social media and get um, annoyed about things um, but it's good to think before we write and it's also good to be forgiving so maybe you're looking at this story looking at this video and you think the world's gone mad and what do I what do I do well there is a way out the fact is Jesus died a painful death on a cross so people like you and me could have the forgiveness and the gift of eternal life and if we genuinely believe in Jesus and he will forgive us of our sins and we can have a new life and we can have that wonderful gift of eternal life which is so wonderful and, and so much more it brings so much peace when we know our sins are forgiven and uh, we have that gift of eternal life if you're not a Christian and you'd like to uh, like to read this prayer after me um, you can have that wonderful free gift that Jesus died for every single person who believes in him the prayer reads dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen and if you said that prayer and you meant it it means that born again spirit can come and live within if you've got any questions on this video please feel free to leave a comment and to like this video and thank you very much for watching